वेलकम टू स्टूडेंट मैसे बीडी वर्ग असिसटेंट टीचर सावित्री बाई फुले माध्यमिक शाला बाबा नगर नांदेड़ नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट फर्स्ट टर्म एग्जामिनेशन क्लास नाइन्थ मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट टू एंड इन टूडेज क्लास क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ए चूज द करेक्ट अल्टरनेटिव आंसर फॉर ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सब क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इज the dash lines are determined by three distinct points options a 2 b 3 c 1 or 3 and d 6 so here the correct option is option number c 1 or 3 here 1 or 3 lines are determined by three distinct points now next question The lines uh, which are coplanar and uh, do not intersect each other are called dash lines. And uh, here uh, options are parallel, intersecting, non none of them parallel and intersecting. These are the four options. So here the correct option is A parallel. The lines which are uh, coplanar do not intersect each other are called parallel lines so the correct option is a now question number 3 mcqs in triangle abc angle a equal to 65 b equal to 95 then that dash is two statements now the statement is a bc is less than ab b bc is less than ac option c ac is less than ab and option d is bc is less than ab is less than ac so here the correct option is b bc is less than ac we know that uh, dear student when angle is uh, large then opposite side of this angle is also large if the angle is large then opposite sides of that angle is also large now question number 4 uh, in the triangle xyz i am measure angle x equal to measure angle y then is two that dash is a true statement statement first xy greater than yz xy less than yz xz equal to half of yz and d xz equal to yz here in triangle xyz angle m and angle y, uh, angle x and angle y is equal angle therefore here option d is the correct answer because opposite side of uh, this angle is also equal therefore yz equal to xz option number d is the correct option now question first b solve the following sub questions question number first if x equal to 1 y equal to 7 x equal to 1 and y equal to 7 then find distance xy therefore distance xy equal to y minus x because coordinate of y is uh, greater than coordinate of x therefore 7 minus 1 equal to 6 therefore the distance of x y equal to 6 question number second write the sum of all angles of triangle equal to 180 because we know that dear student the sum of all angles of triangle equal to 180 question number 3 write the statement of uh, remote interior angle theorem statement is that measure of measure of external angle equal to sum of remote interior angle measure of external angle of triangle equal to the sum of uh, its uh, remote interior angle of triangle जिसका है 
एक्सटर्नल एंगल से जे माप आते मेजरमेंट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल एंगल इक्वल टू दी सम ऑफ रिमोट इंटीरियर एंगल दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर हाउ मेनी मिनिमम एलिमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रायंगल देर आर सिक्स एलिमेंट्स आर टू बी रिक्वायर्ड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रायंगल these are uh, three sides and three angles now question number 2a complete the activities in it first is opposite angles formed by two formed by two intersecting lines are of equal measures here given line ab and line cd are uh, intersected at point o therefore a dash o dash b and c dash o dash b then prove that first is angle aoc equal angle bod aoc equal bod and uh, secondly boc equal to aod in first empty box aod therefore proof equal to aoc angle aoc equal to proof is that angle aoc plus angle boc equal to 180 aoc plus boc equal to 180 because angles in a linear pair we know that angles in linear pair equal to 180 therefore here 180 uh, in a second step angle boc plus angle bod equal to also 180 180 boc plus bod boc plus bod here also 180 therefore angle aoc plus angle boc Equal to BOC plus BOD. LHS equal to LHS are equal. Therefore, angle AOC is equal to angle BOC. Similarly, angle BOC equal to angle BOD. Now next, in the figure, line RP parallel line MS and DK is the transversal. Therefore angle dhb equal to 85 then rhd plus dhp rhd plus dhb equal to 180 angles in linear pair therefore angle rhd plus 85 equal to 180 therefore rhd equal to 180 minus 85 equal to 95 now question number 3 theorem If the measure of angles of a triangle are 45, 45, 90 degree, then the length of each side containing the right angle is 1 by root 2 into hypotenuse. C in the triangle ABC, angle A and angle C could are equal. These are 45. Proof is that in a in triangle ABC, angle B. Equal to 90 degree and angle A equal to C equal to 45. Therefore, angle BC equal to AB because opposite side of equal triangles are also equal. By then, for then by Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus uh, BC square equal to AC square. AB square plus AB square because here two lines, two sides are equal. BC equal to AB. Therefore, do therefore. 2ab square equal to ac square therefore ab square equal to ac square by 2 therefore ab equal to ac into 1 by root 2 means ab equal to 1 by root 2 into ac question number 2 attempt any four sub questions a first is that uh, point xyz are collinear such that distance xy equal to 17 look uh, in this picture distance yz equal to 8 then find xz here xz equal to 9 because sum of these xz and yz equal to xy 
and x y is uh, 17 therefore y z equal to 9 in e e question number 2 in figure in this figure line q and r are parallel line and p is the transversal therefore therefore here angle a congruent angle e angle a congruent angle e because the corresponding angles these are the corresponding angles therefore a equal to 18 then uh, e equal to also 18 80 therefore angle e plus f equal to 180 linear pair therefore f equal to 180 minus 80 equal to 100 now question number next uh, 3 in tangle pqr p equal to 70 q equal to 65 that find r we know that sum of these uh, three angles p q r equal to 180 therefore r equal to 180 minus 135 sum of these uh, p and q therefore angle r equal to 180 minus 135 which is uh, 45 now question number 4 in right angle triangle the length of hypotenuse is uh, 15 find the length of median of its hypotenuse we know that dear student length of median equal to the half of hypotenuse in right angle triangle therefore median equal to 7 by 5 question number 5 construct x y z triangle x y z now question number 3 a complete uh, any one activity of the following in the figure l and m are parallel lines and n is the transversal therefore uh, here line l parallel m n is the transversal therefore e p b angle e p b equal to angle p q d corresponding angles and line e f perpendicular a b therefore e p b equal to e p a and angle e q d equal to angle e q c from 2 and 4 line n perpendicular line m now question number 2 triangle xyz similar triangle lmn draw figure write corresponding congruent angles and uh, ratio of corresponding sides so here xyz triangle xyz a similar triangle lmn xy upon lm equal to yz upon mn equal to xz upon ln and uh, corresponding angles are congruent therefore angle x congruent angle l angle y congruent angle m and angle x congruent angle n question number three solve two sub questions prove that here Second, using the uh, information in given figure, find a uh, measure of A and B. So, here ABC is uh, internal, interior angle of triangle and angle B opposite angle 70, opposite angles are equal therefore angle B equal to 70 and here angle C plus angle 100 equal to 180 linear pair angle therefore angle c equal to 180 minus 100 80 and uh, a b c equal to 180 therefore by putting the value of a and uh, uh, sorry b and c we get here angle a equal to 180 minus 150 therefore angle a equal to 30 this is the construction now question number 5 solve any one of the following in figure line a b parallel line c d these are two lines which is to be parallel then find x value of x and uh, value of y now first to find the value of x a b parallel CD AB line AB parallel line CD and uh, PQ is the transversal therefore angle 85 
congruent angle x these two angles are corresponding angles therefore angle x equal to 85 therefore x equal to 85 degree now secondly ab parallel cd and rq is the transversal therefore angle y equal to angle y here angle y and angle y these are the alternate angle and we know the angle alternate angles are uh, congruent therefore one 150 plus y equal to 180 linear pair therefore y equal to 180 minus 115 sorry 115 115 therefore y equal to 65 and last question is construction which is not necessary so the these are this is the first term examination paper of uh, class 9 mathematics now see you again next video thank you for watching the video subscribe share and comments please thanks jai hind